Hey everyone, it's your girl Nicole with Coles Keys Real Estate and I'm here with your mid-month market report for August 2020. Here in Charlotte, Mecklenburg, low inventory is going to continue in the real estate market for the foreseeable future. We're going to continue to see multiple offers, low days on the market, and price appreciations. And now is the time to take advantage, especially since interest rates are at an all-time low. So let's jump into these stats in Charlotte, Mecklenburg. Listings are down 19.9% from this time last year. The average days on the market is at 52 days and there are approximately 1,467 listings in the Charlotte, Mecklenburg area regardless of price point. That is only enough inventory to last a few short months. Well, now that we know that, let's break it down by price point. For properties under 300K, there's 296 listings as of mid-month with an average list price of $244,356 at a price per square foot of $153.69 with an average cumulative days on the market of 33. For properties 301 to 500, 533 as of mid-month, average list price, 395.11. Days on the market is at 56 with a price per square foot of 171.23. For 501 to 1 million, we've got a whopping 366 on the market as of mid-month with an average list price of $709,419. Cumulative days on the market is at 85 with a price per square foot. 228.21. Now let's jump over to 1 million. 276 as of mid month with an average list price of 1,847,269. Days on the market 145 with a price per square foot of 355.06. So this info is telling us what for Charlotte Mecklenburg? Inventory is low. Prices of homes continue to climb and therefore value continues to rise as we saw with the price per square foot indicator. Now, if some of you know, Charlotte Mecklenburg does border South Carolina and that's our sister state. So I wanna give our sister state some love and I wanna share with you the stats happening over the border in York County. And just so you know, York County encompasses areas like Fort Mill and Rock Hill and parts of Lake Wiley. And those are highly sought after areas, okay? So in York County, there's approximately 416 listings in York County, regardless of price. So for properties under 300K, there is 107 listings as of mid-month with an average list price of 219,831, just a little bit lower than Charlotte Mecklenburg and as a price per square foot, also coming in lower at 129.04 with average days on the market higher at 45 days. So for properties 301 to 500, there are 202 listings as of mid-month, certainly more listings than under 300K, but we are at an average list price of 398,954 and at a price per square foot of 151.79 with a cumulative days on the market of 77. Let's hop to 501 to 1 million. 96 as of mid-month with a lower average list price of 681,404 at a price per square foot of 198.79 and an average cumulative of 118 days on the market. Hopping to the over 1 million mark, there's only 11 on the market in York County with an average price of 1 million. $417,709. That's a price per square foot of $341.78 and a cumulative days on the market of 288. Regardless of which one of these two markets you decide to buy or sell in, one thing is consistent across both states. Homes are not sitting on the market for a long period of time. So what does this mean for buyers? Well, for my buyers, now is the time to purchase. You knew I was gonna say that. Interest rates are extremely low and you wanna make sure that you take advantage of the rates. We don't know how long that's gonna last. And for sellers, now's the time to sell. Why? Because you wanna take advantage of those buyers willing to grasp the opportunity of low interest rates. This has been your mid-month market report for August 2020 for Charlotte, Mecklenburg and York counties. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next month.